Hello and welcome to today's edition of the SciShow Talk Show. Today joining us in the studio is Catherine Green, who, among other things, is our social media manager. She uploads the videos and goes on the Twitter and the Facebooks and all of those things. She is also my wife. Hi. Yes. I am also his wife. Hi, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Today, Catherine is going to share with us some interesting things that she's bringing inside of her mind. And then we're going to look at a really cool animal. Yeah, I'm excited. So, uh, actually, uh, you know that I like animals. I do know that. Right, and I have maybe a favorite one. Your favorite animal in the world is our cat, Cameo. Yes, that's that's correct. And But she is also a type of animal. That is your favorite type of animal. Right. Which is the cat. Correct. So I thought I would just come in and talk about cats with you. Let's just type so. in cats to Google here and see what happens. <laughs> um, and actually, I don't, I don't really want to talk about lol cats right now. Okay. Um, I want to talk about um, wild cats. Wild cats. And uh, specifically <laughs> the many species of cats that are in the family Felidae. They first emerged on the Earth about 25 million years ago. Okay. Um, so they're... Established. Pretty, pretty well established. <laughs> they got a good hold on it here. And 60% um, of the species that exist on Earth today were um, estimated to have originated within the last million years. Oh, wow. So there are a lot of... Um, extinct cats. Extinct cats. Yeah. Cats that have gone extinct since the 25 million years ago <laughs> emergence. Um, which is sad. Because all those cute cats, yeah, we're never I mean, going to get to see them. Some of them probably would have eaten us pretty hardcore. Yeah. So. Mostly, a lot of the ones that are left are actually much smaller. Are they very cute? So many cute. So, so cute. Okay. So many cutes. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorites is um, this one. <laughs> Paulus's cat. Paulus's cat. It's like a puffball. <laughs> it is... Really, really cute. Why um, is it so cold? Well, it lives in the rocky steppes in the area around the Caspian Sea. So in northern um, Kazakhstan mm -hmm. and Russia. Yeah. Um, so it's cold in Russia. I would be fluffy if I it's, was there. It looks like one of those hats that the Russians wear. Maybe that's where they got the idea. This is an interesting one. Okay. The Karakal. The Karakal. That is a crazy yes. looking thing. It, Check out your freaking huge ear tufts. Amazingly huge ear tufts. Those are big ear tufts. I don't know. Cuz. <laughs> Cuz the ladies like it. Yeah. Um, so it's got big ears to start out with and mm -hmm. then it's got these huge right. ear tufts. Just to emphasize how big my ears are. Maybe. Um, you know, Maybe. it's a desert animal so it has Right, big it's good to have big ears when you're a desert animal. To cool, to help it yep. regulate its temperature. And then the last one is the sand cat. The sand cat. Felis margarita. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> yep, just living in sand dunes. Eating, eating rats. Tiny mice. Maybe insects probably that tiny, it comes and, across. Yeah, probably insects. Probably a lot of insects. Um, it's interesting that it lives in the desert because... It has to be able to tolerate extreme temperatures, so it doesn't have super small ears or mm -hmm. super big ears. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing all of the cats with us, Catherine. Of course. <laughs> um, now it's time to see a real animal in the studio. Ooh, let's do it. Let's see a real animal in the studio. <gasps> Bring it on. Here is a brush-tailed batong and Jesse. I'm not, what is the name of this animal? This is Quigley. These guys are from Australia, and uh, they, at one time, they covered about three-fourths of the whole continent of Australia. And they did really well. They breed pretty proficiently, about maybe three or four babies a year. Well, then humans decided to introduce the red fox. It really decimated their population. Um, then, biologists got the hint and they said, all right, well, let's get rid of the foxes. So actually they got rid of all the foxes and these guys made a great comeback. It was actually a huge success, success story in the 1960s. It was, it was huge news. Um, and then the population started falling again and they did a bunch of research and they figured out, it, they think it's a combination of feral cats, which is a domestic cat let loose, has babies, those babies become basically wild. So they're preying on them, but they're also spreading a parasite called toxoplasma. Oh yeah. Right. And it's normal for cats to have, <laughs> not yes. normal for humans yeah. or batons to have. And what's what's making it 
what's happening is it's affecting their brain, mm -hmm. and they don't register that a predator is coming after them, so they're really easy prey for the cats. I have heard that this may be That's actual symbiosis between yeah. toxoplasm, the, 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 the parasite, and, and the cat. And the cat. Mm -hmm. It goes in a cycle that and way. That there's some research indicating that crazy cat ladies are crazy cat ladies because they're <laughs> infected with this parasite. Cats. So cute. So destructive. Yeah, they're hungry. Since these guys are critically endangered, we searched everywhere to find a female. So we found Babette, and Babette's a female. I'm gonna go ahead and put Quigley away. Bye. <laughs> and night, night. Babette and Quigley <clears throat> didn't really hit it off at first. Mm. But after a while, <laughs> They it, wasn't arranged. it was an arranged marriage. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Take some time. Yeah, it's a lot to ask. <laughs> of but anyone. After, after we after we waited, this little guy popped up. Oh, <laughs> dang! Oh, <laughs> about how old is he? He is. Well, they spent about three to four months in the right. pouch. Right. Marsupial birth yes. days are a little fuzzy. It is. It's yeah. really hard to tell. So. Uh, is yeah, it the about exit three from or the months. womb, or is it the yeah? Exit when did you from see the pouch? Yeah. <laughs> when he saw, he's still drinking milk, so he's okay. actually we we pulled him to finish hand feeding him. Oh. Um, so he's been out of the pouch for about a month. Now. Oh man, you are huge! <laughs> you have a lot riding on your shoulders, yeah. little animal. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. The responsibility must be a little intense, but for with sure. great cuteness sure. comes great responsibility. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the SciShow Talk Show. I want to thank my wife, Catherine, for coming out and joining us. Well, thanks for having me. What a pleasure. And, of course, thank you to the team at Animal Wonders for bringing in their amazing animals. We'll see you next time. Shh.